Welcome back guys, the Rogue Prince of Persia is now available on Steam Store in early access date. This is its current price in India. It's around Rs. 1259 and in US it's around $18. The game may remain in early access state for almost a year. The developers want to create the best version of the game, improving the gameplay experience based on user feedback. The current build offers 6 levels and 2 boss battles. The final version's content may be twice that of early access version. There may be a price increase. This will be announced well in advance. You can discuss the game in the game's Discord server. Developers will be communicating with the user base via Steam Community Hub. In this game, we play as the prince who can perform parkour moves, has access to ranged and melee weapons that can be augmented using medallions, which we can obtain while exploring the levels. The prince also has a mysterious artifact that allows him to time travel, enabling him to avoid permanent death and return to a hub area named the Oasis, where he can restock potions and upgrade his skills and weapons. Enemies will drop coins which can be used to collect new weapons and restore health items during combat and chests containing new weapons can be found during gameplay. Now before jumping into the gameplay, I would like to thank Key Mailer and Evil Empire for sending me a free copy of this game. I'll be testing the game on my ROG Ally and Steam Deck. I'll kick things off with the former. I have the Z1 Extreme variant of Ally. My Ally is running on BIOS version 337. For this game, I have set the UMA buffer size to 4 GB. I have installed AMD's technical preview driver, the internal in version 24.5.1. Command center settings using the 25W manual profile. All three power values set at 25W, 720p resolution, CPU boost disabled. We using a custom afterburner overlay to show you the performance metrics. Show the internal in settings. RSI enable, resolution upscale from 720p to full HD. Radian anti lag, VSync and freezing settings enabled as well. In game resolution 720p, in game basing disabled, no FPS limit. Start the game. Only have access to these video settings. Using my Gullicate KK3 Max gamepad, connected to Ally via 2.4 GHz band wireless mode. Okay, so I am in the safe zone, Oasis. This is where I respawn upon death. Alice. Abilities. I have purchased a few abilities. We'll showcase them during the levels. Interact. Zabros Village. Here we are getting around 100 FPS. Unlocked a fast travel point. Eram usage is around 3.3 GB. AP power draw is around 23 watts. Run along the wall. Parkour elements. Kick one and knee. When enemies collide with each other, they get stunned. On some coal. Not hitting the GP bottleneck. GP load is around 70%. Still, we are not getting 120 FPS. Single core CPU performance seems to be the limiting factor. Another fast travel point. A health bar, we only have one health potion. Oh no, that guy was waiting for me. Sitting on the pole. Bomb. That was close. Made it to the higher platform. Kick this thing. Blue helper, it means the enemy has a shield around them. Need to destroy the shield first. Flaming counter restores 20 energy points for every hit taken. X 
exploring a level will reward you with items like this and I drag with them they seem to be doing good and the conversation new weapons royal sword taba dps 107 got it I'll play the level until I reach the boss. Oh no, took a lot of damage. Drop down. Consume a health potion. Pick up some coal. Use the coal to purchase some items during the levels. hit this creature performs a roll attack yeah there's the shop weapons purchase some health this is not a safe zone get the vampiric demise ability Four slots. Good. Oh no, landed on the spikes. I'll make a beeline for the exit. Entirely up to you. Found some health, just like that. There's a chest right below us. Let's see what's inside it. Another ability. Place it here. What's this? Another ability. For every wall you perform, spare trace it. We'll slow down the enemies. Try to demonstrate the ability. more weapons level 4 royal sword send spirit glimmers to the oasis you can use these spirit glimmers to purchase certain items next sequence is loading game has slowed down working properly now drink from the fountain it will restore our health health potion also restored try to complete this level quickly we'll be fighting against the boss in the next level it's very variable fps on frog alert Sixty-six to hundred. FPS varies from level to level. Too many of them. Oh no! Taking a lot of damage. Potion saved me there. These guys are just waiting for me. Use my ranged weapon. See the reason. Platform gateway. Spirit Glimmers Again sent to the oasis Sliding down
trained aqueduct oh no that was close almost got sliced there Yeah, I'm in a hurry. Cleared the level. Time for the boss battle. Restore my health first. Let's do this. There's the boss. Not we will do defeat it. Very good. Disappeared. It tossed his attacks. Oh no, it charged towards me. I destroyed the boss's shield. Not enough energy. Try to play it safe. Oh no, took a lot of damage there. Cut down those attacks. mostly stayed above 80 and that's it now I'll be testing the game on my steam deck for this game I'm using G Proton version 9-5 as the compatibility layer steam deck compatibility is unknown performance step only level set to 2 frame rate and refresh rate limit set to 60 I want the LCD variant of steam deck that's it Settings 720p resolution, VSync disabled, display mode window. That's it. We are at the OSS. Here FPS is around 60. Yeah, game is running very smoothly. Levels are more demanding than OSS. So I just quickly start the first level. Leave the area. Game slows down during loading. Total power draw is around 40 watts, should be getting a play time of around 3 hours on a full battery. GP load here is around 90%. Yeah, from my time. Ability, flame encounter. No issues so far. Very smooth experience. That was at the right moment. Oh no, I failed. Another ability Toxic projectile I attack them this time Jump down on them. It's 
rest of the creature dead in its track. Purchase this sword. Don't have money for the other items. Consume potion. Oh no, it took some damage. Now I can purchase some health here, medium health boost. That was close. Spirit limit center to Oasis. Impressed with the performance on Steam Deck. Cleared the area. Ruined Echo Deck. Name of the level. Health restored. Chest, I'll open it. Sticky cake reduces resin when we attack an enemy. Resin holds their momentum. And there it is. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Managed to avoid the spikes. I am out of here. Heart fall. Platform gave in. Made it. Speed running. That's the end. Fighting against the boss. Store my health. There's the boss. Try it shield first. Shield is down. Charge towards me.
not this attack again. HP That's it Excellent experience on Steam Deck, FPS mostly stayed around 60, a bit disappointed that the game did not run at 120fps on ROG LA. FPS was very variable, like 60 to 100. I hope you found the video useful, thanks for watching and have a nice day.